myths and legends and folk tales and fables have been told to us and passed down generation by generation by generation for thousands of years. In every community, in every part of the world, there is a library, a collection of, of such stories. And if we're reading them, it gives us a bit of a window and insight into other communities and the way people around the world for, for whatever, for long, <laughs> have viewed their existence and how they've interpreted the world around them. What we are perhaps not overtly aware of is, is that each of these little stories are windows into other cultures and civilizations. They give us a sense of how people in other parts of the world that we've never traveled to, how they see the world and how they interpret life on this planet. Their value in reading them and sharing them with children is to grow a collective consciousness, a much richer collective consciousness um, as human beings. Folk tales are less didactic, but they do contain subtle lessons and insights for us to, to pass on. Um, but how is a folk tale different from a fairy tale? Well, folk tales contain less magical elements. Um, they don't contain fairies and witches and spells and charms as such. But they do frequently include animals with human-like qualities and animals who can engage with people in a human-like way. They also might just focus on local people. Myths, on the other hand, are familiar to us, especially since the books of Percy Jackson have popularized Greek myth. But myths come to us from all parts of the world as well, and they are, they are essentially creation stories. They make sense for us um, about the world around us, so why the heavens are, why there are seasons, how people came to be. Um, and so they've been passed on as almost lessons from the elders to the children to explain existence. Fables such as Aesop's fables and just so stories, but just so stories fall somewhere between folktale and, and fable. Um, they tend to be little stories that serve as cautionary, cautionary tales. Um, they are cautionary tales about unwise behavior, for example, um, why it's not a good idea to be boastful or to, to be a trickster. Um, you will know, I'm sure, the story of the boy who, who cried wolf. Um, the tortoise and the hare is an example of why one should never boast, but also about working smarter, not harder necessarily. Um, but while they're subtly different in genre, myths, legends, fables, and folk tales, they allow us to visit people, to go on a magic carpet ride around the world, and to travel there and back again through time, and even go as far back as before the beginning of the beginning.